Outback Farm is an enclosed garden on the south side of campus located next to the Fairhaven dorms. This site has been occupied since its homestead in 1920. Once the land was sold to the university, it was deemed that it was going to be used for a new parking structure, although the student body of the university had different plans. They rallied together and proposed a pig farm be established in its place. The plan was originally accepted by the university before being scrapped in 1978. The land was left and experimental living on the and gardens were used by quote unquote outbackers and classes utilized the land for environmental studies. Ever since, students of our university have maintained and expanded upon the gardens so vital to the Fairhaven experience. Students of our university can sign up online and take classes in gardening, beekeeping, ecology, sustainable living, urban planning, and much more. There is even an outdoor classroom that was built by students of the university that is now used almost weekly by teachers and classes, not only by Fairhaven College, but all of the colleges of the university. The Outback Farms is split into seven different sections. The Educational Garden, which is a collectively managed demonstration in productivity and organic agriculture. The Forest Garden, which is located in the southeast corner of the Outback, which holds an abundance of fruit trees and berry bushes. The Herb and Ethnobotanic Gardens, which is like herb gardens, which hold small plants and a lot of herbs which they use in also the Fairhaven dining halls. The Connolly Creek, which runs down the center of the outback, is a small tributary of Connolly Creek, which is surrounded by a 0.6 acre wetland. The amphitheater, which is built by students of the university and hosts social events every weekend. Also, the outdoor classroom is used to teach many different classrooms, not only for the university, but for the preschool and younger classrooms, and even schools in our surrounding community. The final area is the greenhouses, in which accompanies all of the rest of the small starter plants that the volunteers work to plant and expand on the gardens. My personal experience with the gardens in the outback is a little different. I use them as a shortcut on my way to class every day. It has slowly become a part of my routine here at Western Washington University, and I have come to appreciate the small things in nature I find every day. It goes underappreciated, but our community as a whole is truly thankful and grateful to have this community garden here and it has done abundance for our community in return, serving us education, food, and a place to come and observe.